this whole COVID madness, this so-called pandemic, it was just a test balloon, a gigantic test balloon. Well, for what, you ask? Well, to see how far they could go, to see what exactly they would have to do to get free individuals in a free and democratic society to consent to be forced into compliance. That's what they were trying to establish. That's what they were trying to figure out. And they have, they have figured it out. Trust me, they are much smarter now. The goal ultimately is to transform our free and democratic societies um, yeah, into totalitarian societies. Their goal is to strip each and every one of us of our fundamental rights of freedom, democracy, the rule of law. They want to get rid of all of this. This whole COVID thing had never anything to do with public health. It never had anything to do with breaking waves. It always had to do with breaking people in order to make us a part of a mindless, malleable mass, which they can totally control and we will be completely dependent upon this globalitarian elite. So I'm really imploring the people and all the peoples around the world, for God's sake, stop giving your democratically elected governments the benefit of the doubt. They are not deserving of that. They are not. Stop rationalizing whatever your government is doing. Try, stop rationalizing and come up with some good intentions. They have no good intentions. Never. As I said before, in the entire history of mankind, there has never been a political elite concerned about the well-being of regular people. And it isn't any different now. Why should it stop giving them the benefit of the doubt? Because I can tell you, you cannot comply your way out of a tyranny. It is impossible. Trying to do so, you will only feed a gigantic alligator in the hopes of being eaten last. But guess what? Your turn will come, and then you will be the one swallowed up. I also have to ask the people, end your silence. Speak up. For God's sake, stop complying. Start rebelling. They're out to get you if you do not resist.